mansion girl. She's so rich and she's hot. She's a mansion girl with a catch and a highlight. Little pitchy. Still think Debbie's a good person? Not gonna lie, the whole dad reveal did not help my case. All right, I'm gonna use her burner phone to call the 99. Look what I found. Do you like it, Jake? <sighs> Yes, I love it. Real Cruella de Vil vibes. No, no, no. I'm not Cruella de Vil. I would never hurt dogs. I'm Perdita. Who? The romantic lead of the film. Pongo's wife? The girl dog. Yes, yes. <laughs> of course, you look exactly like Perdita. Oh my god, thank you so much. Hey, Debbie, mm -hmm. will you hand me your phone so I can take your picture and you could gram this? I mean, the house, this coat, you're gonna wanna show this off to people, right? That is such a good idea. I do wanna show off to people. I just have to make a quick call. Hi, Mom. Do you like my mansion? Deberlin, why are you holding a gun? Oh my God, Mom, I'm wearing a fur coat and that's what you focus on? I hate you so freaking much. This is ridiculous. Neither of you have even taken a bathroom break. Are you kidding me? Do you think world record holder Howard Berg would stop in the middle of a read-off to expel? Ow. What's going on, Santiago? It's nothing. It's my guide finger. I've got paper burn. Let me see. <laughs> Santiago, you're hurt. Don't be a hero. <sighs> Damn. You must have been cooking. I was. Let's take a break. Put some ointment on that. Right. And when I come back, my finger's slipping all over the page. Nice try. I'm not falling for any of your tricks. Oh, but you already have. While you were waggling your finger in the air, I've been reading all this time out of the corner of my eye. Damn it! Why are you doing this, Deborah Lynn? Because you're being so mean, Mom. Also, I know that if I didn't tie you up, you'd probably go run and find your phone so you could call Derek. Maybe we should call Derek. He could help. He's a lawyer. Yeah, I know he's a lawyer. Do you think you could go more than five minutes without bringing that up? You also, have to get the gun from, from her. I know, but how do I get close enough? And there's one way she clearly has a thing for you. Why do you say that? Just because she has a fantasy of us as a dog couple? Wait. Yeah, I see it. That's gonna work. Actually very tacky. And it's like you don't even care how many chimneys I have. Hey, sorry to interrupt. Mrs. Fogel, we weren't introduced. I'm Jake, Debbie's boyfriend. You are? We are? I mean, yeah, if you're into it. I am. I do. See, Mom? I am with someone. All those psychics were wrong. So listen, babe. Yes, babe? I was thinking. About what, babe? That we. Go on, babe. Oh, wow, you really latched onto the babe thing. I right? love it. Great, great, great. Well, anyways, I was just going to say that, you know, once we're done with this big score, we're going to need a place to hide out somewhere where the cops could never find us. Ooh, like Epcot. Uh, yes, Epcot is great. That's exactly what I was thinking. We can kiss in front of the Eiffel Tower, on the canals of Venice, uh, in the Canada Pavilion. Yes, but why wait till the Canada Pavilion when we can start right now, huh? Oh my god, this is happening. Come here. Okay. Oh my god! What the hell, babe? Debbie, what's your plan here? Talk to me. Why? So you can just tell me more beautiful lies? You think you can just lick your lips and make me weak in the knees? No. Nice try. But I closed my eyes so I didn't even see it. Oh, come on. Oh. Nucci's on his way. <laughs> and I'm about to be rich. Debbie, this is bad. You don't want to be an accessory to murder. What are you talking about? What do you think is going to happen when Nucci gets here and finds two cops? He's going to kill us. Yeah, I know that. Um, I've obviously thought all of this through, and it's all is going according to my plans. I'm sorry, I just started trembling, and I accidentally... Debbie, please just put the gun down! I just talked to the manager at the hotel where the handoff was happening. He said Debbie's room was empty, and there's no sign of Rosa or Jake. Is there anything in those diaries that can help us find him? Debbie mentions her mom a bunch, and one of the ones I read seems like she tells her everything. Oh, that's a good lead. It is a good lead, isn't it? Did you hear that, speed freaks? Let's find out all we can about the mom. I'll start reading right away, because slow and steady wins. Her mother's name is Margaret Jean Fogel. She lives in Bensonhurst. She drives a maroon Lexus. Vanity plates, Derek's mom. She's been married three times. To Horace Mills. Then Frank Yelter. And then James Fogel. She goes grocery shopping on Tuesdays. Water aerobics on Wednesdays. Book club on Fridays. She drinks too much wine. Always a Pinot Grigio.